Today we're going to discuss the benefits and the simplicity of the process of clonable TPMS sensors from TechSmart and Standard Motor Products. Those of you familiar with tire pressure monitoring systems, and if you're a technician that's gone through the pains of replacing these sensors, you know it's a rather involved process when we have to uh, go in back into the vehicles, control modules, and program some of the information into it after you've done a sensor replacement. With the clonable sensors, it eliminates that entire process, making it very streamlined and simple. Today we've got a 2009 Chevy Silverado. This thing's decked out with all the bells and whistles, le leather and tear, etc. But if you look at the stock wheels and tires, it leaves a lot to be desired here. These things are pretty plain Jane, run of the mill. And so our customer has now picked up another set of rims and tires. He wants to run only for the summertime, and he still wants to save these for uh, wintertime use. In order for him to switch back and forth to his stock set of rims and tires in the wintertime and run these summer tires, we're going to clone these stock sensors, program the new sensors to think that they're the exact same part number, and then it allows the customer the simplicity of switching back and forth from summer to winter without having to go through the whole relearn process here on its own. All right, let's get to it. Well, as we can see, the comparison of the two different sets of rims and tires. Here's the stock rims and tires that the customer wants to keep for using in the wintertime. It's got a TPMS sensor in it already, so we really don't want to take that out and swap it back and forth between the two different sets. Rather, we're going to put a new sensor in this aftermarket rim and tire, but we're going to clone it so the truck doesn't know the difference between the two different sets here. So what we're going to do, we're going to break these tires down, we're going to install one of our clonable TPMS sensors in here, it's going to have the same ID number as this particular sensor. So the truck's not going to know the difference between which set of rims and tires are on it at all times. Let's discuss the cloning process a minute. Traditionally, when we've got a faulty TPMS sensor, we're going to take that old sensor out of the rim and tire. And then what we need to worry about is this ID number. Now when you're installing somebody else's TPMS sensor in a vehicle, you have to go into the vehicle's computer and program that new ID number in there. Well, with this cloning process that we're showing here with these TechSmart sensors, you'll notice this is an OE fit form and function sensor. It looks a lot like the original one. But what we're going to do now, we're going to take this ID number and we're going to enter it into our T55000 cloning tool. So to do the traditional cloning process, we've got our TechSmart T55000 cloning tool. And we're going to take our faulty old sensor and we need to get the ID number off it. So I'm going to turn on the tool and I'm going to begin entering in the information here. So I've got C89ED3B. E now all I have to do is take my clonable sensor, insert it in the tray, hit enter. We'll see that it's transmitting. After a couple seconds, it says OK, and now our sensor is able to be used. But the issue is, on a truck like this, where we're not going to take the sensor out of the vehicle. How do we read that identification number? Well, that's where we can use our traditional TPMS relearn tool. In this is, instance, I'm using the TechSmart T55001 tool, and I'm going to go build the vehicle. So I'm going to enter it in as a Chevrolet. I'm going to say I want to read the sensor. I'm going to tell it it's a Silverado, scroll through, I'm going to select 2008 to 2012, and now it's going to ask me to read from the sensor. Now I simply go up to the valve stem, I'm going to select the test function, we're triggering at this point, we've now read the values. So as we take a look at this, we can see that tire pressure tells me the temperature of the tire and it tells me the identification of the tire. So I'm going to take this identification number here and that's what I'm going to use on the cloning process of my new sensor. So in order to clone the sensor that we're going to be installing on this truck, I'm going to take the identification number that I've pulled out of that left rear sensor. I'm going to enter that into our cloning tool. The number is 16544-2008. Eight, three, nine. Now all I have to do is put the clonable sensor in the tray, hit enter, 
way it is it's transmitting here. Now it tells me OK and we're ready to install the sensor. Now a couple other things we need to be aware of. Remember this is an OE fit form and function sensor. So it comes out of the package with its own ID number in it. If the customer wishes to install it this way and not clone it, you can do it that way. Well, one of the important things we have to do for the next guy that's going to work on this truck is write down the new identification number of the clone sensor. So we're going to take the number that we programmed in here. There's a sticker that comes with our clonable sensor and we're going to need to write that information number down on the sensor and affix it to the, the new sensor. Now we've entered that new ID on the sticker, we're going to want to place it on the sensor here. Just do the next guy a favor. So if the next person wants to clone the sensor again, they know what the ID number is. It's very important to put it on this side of the sensor and not on the back side. This is where we have the sensing hole here, and it's very important that we do not restrict that in any way. All right, well the job's all done. I think you'll certainly agree with me that the truck looks a lot better now with a set of rims and tires on. After going for a short test drive, we've confirmed that the TPMS warning lamp is not illuminated. And if we scroll through the menu here, we can read all the pressures. Everything looks like it's okay. Job is done. See you next time. And for more information, check us out online at techsmartparts.com or standardbrand.com.